All right, so just want to make a quick update heading into the weekend. Um, it is Friday. I did take a couple trades today, um, so I want to go over those. I want to go over the levels that I'm watching next. And yeah, pretty much just go over this uh, local price action because right now we are still trading in this range. And I went over in my video yesterday why I think um, this range and uh, how we exit this range is going to be significant. You know, if we start to lose this range to the downside, I think there may be, uh, you know, more downside potential in the future. Um, that could potentially be hinting at a larger retracement coming. And if we can break out of this range to the upside um, with, you know, an aggressive move above the point of control of this range, I think that could be a reason for us to get a move back up to the highs of this larger range that we were trading in. And so far, we are still just trading inside this range. Um, since my video yesterday, we got another move to the downside into the key level of support I was watching. Uh, we got to move into this one hour order block. Um, there was confluence with the golden pocket. It was also, you know, some of the volume levels inside of this mini range, the value area high, the point of control. We uh, got to move pretty much right down to the point of control of this mini range and we SFP'd this low. So that was a uh, trade setup I was looking for yesterday. And I did take this trade, however, I closed it out before we got a move to the upside. And uh, there's a few reasons for that. Mostly it was because I didn't get a great entry on the trade and I wasn't feeling super confident in it at the time. Um, let me actually go back to the higher time frames first. We were starting to see some higher time frame candle closes down below the low, and it was not a significant break. Like you can see right here, we closed that candle, uh, you know, very slightly under that level, about 0.15%. So, not a very significant break of that low, but we did uh, see some candle closes um, below that low. And because I did not get a great entry on this, I entered late, like somewhere up here. So my risk reward for this trade was, uh, you know, not super great. Um, if I had targeted the highs of that move, it wouldn't have even been a two to one risk reward. So I pretty much exited this trade right around here, uh, hoping that we would at some point get a retracement so I can get a better entry on this. And, uh, you know, if I zoom in here, I can show you exactly where I exited this trade. I believe it was this wick right here. So this wick got me. Uh, once I saw price dumping down, I was like, okay, we might start to come down to some of the FIB levels wherever they were at at the time. And I was hoping I would get a better entry on this, but it didn't happen. So I was a little salty about that. Um, I was more salty that I wasn't at my computer when uh, I got the alert. You know, I got the alert on my phone and I had to run to my computer. And by that time we were already like up here somewhere. So, uh, I wish I got a better entry on this. This was a trade setup I was waiting for uh, for a while, but um, you know, it, it is what it is. Uh, sometimes that happens. Uh, all you can do is wait for the next one or look for another trade elsewhere. And uh, I did go over to the link chart and I did manage to get a little long. And so that did help a little bit. But uh, yeah, for the most part, I sat out of this move. I was just in a little link trade but from here, uh, the next trade setup I was waiting for was uh, a potential SFP of this high because looking at market structure, it was the last uh, lower high in this downtrend. So we had this, this, um, you would say probably that, that, and then this was the last lower high. Um, from there, we just dumped straight down. There was uh, no market structure in this move to the downside. So I was watching this high for a potential SFP. I also had that six hour order block marked out uh, right above that high. So if you go to the six hour time frame, I was looking at this blue candle in between the two purple candles. The purple candle to the right got a significant move to the downside, breaking structure. And so the uh, next trade setup I was looking for was an SFP of this market structure point potentially into that order block. And it did take a while for us to get there. Um, another idea I was looking at was a potential retest of this one hour order block. I was looking at this purple candle in between the two blues. The blue candle to the right got a significant move to the upside. 
breaking the last uh, you know high breaking structure and uh, I was potentially looking for a retest of this and I did take this trade right before I went to bed uh, it didn't end up being much I just ended up uh, locking in a break even with it um, I had my stop down below that order block and uh, yeah I locked in basically a break even with this one I think I hit my first TP like somewhere up around this point of control wherever it was at the time and uh, yeah then set my stop to break even so that uh, didn't end up being much but this morning uh, we did get some price action we got a move first uh, up to this significant high I was watching uh, you can see we did SFP it we got a wick right up into that order block candle fell back down below we uh, closed down below the high and actually um, I did take one more trade before this one um, I took a long right in this area because we uh, potentially SFP would this low down here uh, with this wick so I did long that but you can see we uh, got a little liquidity grab on that my long got stopped out of course right before the massive move to the upside so I was trying to uh, make back some losses with this one. So I did uh, have a TP set uh, kind of ridiculously. You know, I tr uh, treated this one a little differently than I usually do. Normally I'm locking in profits ASAP. But I saw how aggressive of a move we were getting. And since we SFP'd, um, you know, a significant market structure point, we uh, hit off a order block. I decided to uh, target a lower level and just see if I could... Uh, take a larger TP after a larger move. Um, I basically uh, took out half my position down at the value area low of the range, which is right around another uh, support area I was looking at. I was looking at this golden pocket along with the 15 minute order block. So uh, I'll show that one. You can see that purple candle um, on the 15 minute time frame. the blue candle to the right broke structure. And I've been using a lot of order blocks recently. Um, I've been kind of trying to figure out how to use them, how to integrate them into my strategies. I'm still not the best at it, but, uh, you know, they clearly do work. I mean, you see all the time price will, uh, you know, find a significant top inside of an order block. And then we will, uh, you know, then get a move to another significant order block. And then we'll get a move to another significant order block. And uh, yeah, then we'll just pretty much go from order block to order block. Especially inside a range, that seems to happen a lot. And I do like range trading. So uh, yeah, if it works, then I'm going to continue doing it. And maybe at some point soon, um, I will try to put together a video about how I identify these and how I use them with my strategies. I'm still trying to figure it out. You know, I'm definitely not where I want to be in terms of identifying order blocks and also in terms of identifying order blocks that I probably shouldn't pay attention to. But um, I think I am getting a lot better at it. And mainly it comes down to just looking for order blocks in significant areas, looking for confluence around them, looking for order blocks in areas that make sense, such as, you know, around the lows of range. So maybe at some point soon, I'll try to make a full video on that. But yeah, you know, price came down, hit that TP down at the lows of the range. Um, I am still holding this short because, you know, since we did SFP, this market structure point, there is a chance that we uh, come down to the opposite market structure point, which would be this low. So I do have some more TPs set at this low, and um, I am still looking to hold this short for if we uh, break out of this range to the downside. But I did also take a long down from this order block. So, uh, yeah, basically once I saw the reaction that we were getting at this order block, you know, price quickly getting a move back to the upside after tapping off that order block after hitting the golden pocket. Plus, if we go over to Coinalyze, um, we saw a large decrease of open interest. Both on this move to the upside, we saw a large decrease of open interest, and also on this move to the downside, we saw another pretty large decrease of OI. So a lot of trades getting stopped out in both directions here. And uh, yeah, pretty much the reaction plus the trades getting stopped out was uh, what made me want to take the long from this order block. And plus I am still just trading the range. You know, I took a long from the lows of this local range. And I'm still in that trade as well. I have a profit locked in with this one now. 
So overall, it's been a very good day of trading. You know, I started off taking a loss, but uh, yeah, since I have made that back and then some, and uh, right now I'm still in two decent trades. So now in terms of levels I'm watching next, um, mainly I would say I'm looking at uh, levels to the upside more so than to the downside. Um, we already hit the main area of support I was watching, which would be that one hour order block. Other than that, I wasn't really looking at much, um, at least inside of this range that we were trading in. I mean, we could look at uh, this low now. You could look at this low or maybe even uh, looking for some kind of order block in this area. Maybe looking at this uh, 786 and value area low from back here. But there aren't really many uh, support levels that are standing out to me. I'd say, um, you know, I'd be interested in this low probably if we SFP it, but other than that, I would probably be careful. Um, you know, I'd probably also watch this low as well. But to the upside, I think there are more levels I would be interested in. So first off, I would be watching this high now. Can delete this order block because that has already been tapped. So I would be watching this high, just being the high of uh, this range that we were in. Um, yeah, potentially looking for SFPs of the lows or the highs of this local range. We have a NDPOC up here. Um, it is yesterday's point of control, the PDPOC, but it is also a naked point of control um, because it has not been tapped yet. So this is an area that interests me. That's also right around the daily open. And other than that, I would be looking at uh, these highs, looking for a liquidity grab of all of those highs. Also deviating the uh, PD value area high and the PD POC. So, you know, a move up here and then seeing price quickly get a reaction back inside of this area. Um, I would be looking for something like that. And uh, also this high over here. Those are yeah pretty much the areas I'm looking at inside of this range. But mostly I think I would be focused on this local price action. But... Uh, I think for the most part, you know, all of my levels inside of this area have been hit. I mean, we can look for a lower time frame order block, maybe over in this area. And, uh, yeah, I would look at this guy. Um, looks like that has not been mitigated yet. So we can look at this three minute order block. So, yeah, to the downside, I would probably be looking at that order block, potentially SFPing this low into that. It is kind of far away from that low, but it is possible that we get a move like that. And I don't think there is much else locally that we have not hit yet. I don't think there's any order blocks up at that high. Oh, never mind. There actually is. There's a two minute one right there. So that is something we can look at to the upside. So yeah, I think inside of this very local range, I would be, you know, potentially looking at this high, uh, potentially looking at this order block outside of the value area high, and then I'd also be watching this high, and to the downside, um, be watching this wick, this order block, you know, potentially that is one trade idea if we SFP into that order block, and I'd also be watching this low. All right, well, I think that is just about all I wanted to go over today. So thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. I really appreciate the support on the channel, and I will see you all in the next video.